Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, the Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, nationally recognized retirement specialist and four-time author, Tony Walker. Born in 1810, one of the great promoters ever known to man was P.T. Barnum. Barnum, who founded Barnum and Bailey Circus, is famously attributed to this quote as to why intelligent people are so easily persuaded into paying good money to see strange things. When he said this, there's a sucker born every minute. Actually, according to research from our own Derek Hudson, Barnum isn't the one who came up with this saying at all, but rather, there's a sucker born every minute is attributed to a cigar manufacturer of all people by the name of George Hull, who in 1869 came up with the crazy idea to sucker people out of their money by sculpting a corpse-like giant from a 10-foot-long blocks of gypsum. After Mr. Hull sculpted the fake corpse, he then took the next painstaking task to bury it in, of all places, Cardiff, New York, all in hopes of duping people into forking over good money to see his fake giant. To further verify this scheme as true, Hull made the bold claim as the one who discovered the so-called petrified American Goliath. The result? Gullible people bought into the hoax, hook, line, and sinker, leading Hull to later confidently explain why so many people would pay good money to see his fake corpse. That's right, there's a sucker born every minute. And to which I would say, let's make sure when it comes to your retirement, you're not one of them. Well, welcome, folks, to the Worry-Free Retirement. And yes, I am that little man in the sweater vest, sucker-avoiding retirement planning specialist and fiduciary, Tony Walker. And today we're going to take you on a deep dive into how to avoid being a sucker when it comes to making decisions about money and, yes, your retirement. But before we teach you how to spot the financial hoaxes and hucksters of the world, let me introduce to you three folks in the Worry-Free Studios who are as real as real can be. America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander. Louisville, Kentucky's most laid-by graphics artist, Mr. Derek Hudson, and finally, our associate producer, Miss Meek and Mild, Mary Beth Combs. Okay, I think if we're all being honest with ourselves, when it comes to our money and what we might decide to do with it, nobody in their right mind wants to be played for a sucker. And when considering what to do with your life savings and who to trust with it, the hope is that the people who are promoting their financial wares are upfront and truthful, about not just the benefits of their products and strategies, but also willing to disclose to us the potential negatives as well, something I refer to as the worst case scenario, which we will learn about more later today. Because here's the truth of the matter when it comes to fake petrified giants buried in the ground, and yes, even the funny money you currently have buried inside that tax-infested 401k plan, If something sounds too good to be true, that's right, it probably is, which is all the more reason you don't want to be that sucker Mr. Hull refers to. Which is why today, I'm going to arm you with how to keep from falling victim to some of the financial hoaxes out there and how to spot them before it's too late. I'm Tony Walker. You're watching The Worry-Free Retirement. I'll be right back. Have you recently retired, been laid off, or offered a pension buyout? Has the company you work for moved, been acquired, or closed its doors forever? And finally, do you have a 401k with a previous employer you'd like to move to safer territory? Then take advantage of this opportunity to move your 401k or lump sum pension to Tony Walker Financial. Let's meet in person to discuss your retirement options. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com to schedule your free, no obligation appointment. Let us help you today. Webster's Dictionary defines a sucker as follows. A person easily cheated or deceived or a person irresistibly attracted by something specified. 
After personally managing money in the 90s and for the most part watching my clients' accounts skyrocket upward as the stock market I invested in their money continued to climb upward, I must admit, as an advisor whose task was to grow my clients' hard-earned money in retirement, I was, as the definition would say, a sucker in terms of irresistibly attracted to the upward climb of the stock market and, of course, the subsequent growth of my clients' money. I was my own self-promoted hero, thinking that the models I used in the 1990s, something referred to as asset allocation, when they came crashing down. That's right, folks. With all those high-flying years of the growing money in the 90s, yours truly got suckered into thinking that the stock market would never go down, which, of course, it did. And not just for one year, take a look at this, but for three straight years in 2000, 2001, and 2002, talking about a non-worry-free retirement. And it wasn't just a little man in a sweater vest who got suckered into thinking the good times would last forever. No, major fund managers like this fellow, Garrett Van Wagner, a fund I used in the 90s, which one year alone grew over 280%. They too had to come back down to earth. So now, as we fast forward to September of 2022, and we see once again, the stock market is in a free fall, Okay, so what did I do after those three straight years of losses? Well, in 2002, vowing to never put 100% of my clients' money back into the stock market again, I created something called the Worry-Free Retirement. And it's a five-step process geared towards helping savers worry less about money. This process includes three unique characteristics and philosophies that do make it quite specific to the needs of savers. First, there is something I call the split IRA concept, which allows the saver to enjoy maximum flexibility and access to their money, and all the while without the fear of running out of it. The second thing I created is something called the three halves of life, whereby my clients now gain a better understanding of when they will enjoy the most money and why they need a game plan to do just that. And then the finally was really a revelation, if you will, it's how to spend and enjoy this money before it's too late, and I summarize my philosophy in a best-selling book called Live Well, Die Broke. It's an understanding born out of meeting with more than 15,000 savers and watching their lives play out and why you have to have a written game plan and, get this, a trained retirement planning specialist in your corner if you're going to be worry-free. So how do we take someone's money at Tony Walker Financial and then fit this into the process we've created? Well, when I return, I'm going to show you how to avoid being suckered out of your money and why what P.T. Barnum and Mr. Hall talked about is really true. Stay tuned. I'm Tony Walker. I'll be right back. With the uncertainty of the stock market, now may be the best time to consider moving your 401k to safer territory. To talk to me at no cost or obligation, simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Uh, first of all, Derek, you know how much I appreciate your graphics works, don't you? Yeah. I was a little disappointed in this. I thought you were going to animate this to where that guy's going to be shooting out of the cannon. Is there any way you can pull that off? Uh, yeah, sure. I just need a few seconds, okay? Okay. Oh yeah. really is realistic. Good job, Derek. Woo. Okay, back to the show. Webster's Dictionary defines a hoax as follows. To trick into believing or accepting as genuine something false and often preposterous, or an act intended to trick or dupe. Whether it's the Goliath of a giant hoax created by a cigar manufacturer in 1869, the tulip bulb investment hoax of the 1600s, and yes, even as some would consider, 
the great 401k hoax written by Mr. William Wallman. All hoaxes have the same theme, trying to convince people to hand over their money in return for what the hoax is promising, regardless of whether the pitch is true or not. You know, the great 401k hoax does a great job of pointing out a fact about the creation of the 401k plan and the difference between the old guaranteed pensions my granddad's generation enjoyed and this new kid on the block that was created in 1978 to replace them, the 401k plan. You see, the 401k plan is considered by Wallman to be created by politicians, Wall Street, and the government. In other words, they all agreed to replace granddad's guaranteed pension with the 401k plan, and we can kind of see why. In this graphic, notice how much the amount of money at Wall Street has grown. It's now in the trillions and trillions of dollars. So how and why would savers who prior to the 401k plan would never have considered running down to the local stockbroker office to look at the ticker tape, how could they have been suckered into thinking that the stock market was the only way to go to create a worry-free retirement? Well, it's simple, because that's what they were told to do, and their employer made it very easy to invest in the stock market by way of payroll deduction. All that said, what I'm reminding you savers out there of is this. Assuming you've got all of your money invested in the stock market or even bonds and growth mutual funds, listen closely. There is no way to guarantee that you will not run out of money. You will not have a way to safely spend this money without some form of guaranteed investment, which is why if you are retired, nearing retirement, maybe you've recently sold a business or some land, or here's another option. Maybe you've downsized a home and have money to invest or received an inheritance. Regardless, if you're looking for help with your money, but afraid of getting suckered into something that is not in your best interest, I've created five key questions that one must ask any advisor, yes, including yours truly, as to what they are investing in and how these investments are going to benefit them. So by this way, by the way, I created a guide that is available when I go over this that's a download at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. So again, if you'd like to download this questions, this page I've put together is available at TonyWalkerFinancial.com. All you got to do is click on the download section. So let's see the five key questions you've got to ask an advisor so you won't be suckered. First of all, you got to ask about the fees. Now folks, I know it's hard sometimes to understand how to find these fees. This is why you have to ask them. Incidentally, if you download this little uh, one pager I've created, it's kind of neat the way I've designed this because what you can do is ask the advisor to fill it out, put this down, and then them sign off on it and date it so it's in their handwriting. And if an advisor is not willing to fill it out, more than likely they're not probably a fiduciary because a fiduciary, like ourselves, is required by law to disclose all fees and commissions. So that's number one. Number two, I love this. I always like to ask people, and even when we describe our process to people, what is the worst case scenario of this investment? Let's take the stock market, for instance. If you invest in the stock market, we covered this earlier in Van Wagner's Emerging Growth Fund, well, it was up in the 43,000 range at one time. Well, it dropped all the way to 3,300. Now, not to say all stock market or funds are going to drop that much, but the point is you're seeing worst case scenario. Uh, many of you are running out and buying these bonus annuities. On the surface, bonus annuities can be helpful, but what you have to ask somebody is the worst case scenario of that annuity, all right? Number three, access. Boy, I love this. In retirement planning, folks, many of you are not setting yourself up to have access to your money. In fact, a day doesn't go by. Somebody calls me up and they say, Tony, I got $20,000 in the bank or $30,000 in the bank. Can you invest that for me? Well, we could, but the problem with that is we could be creating additional risk. We can't necessarily slap, slap it in an annuity. Sometimes it's best to leave that money just in cash. Why? Because we have to have access to some of our money. And again, a fiduciary is going to make sure, especially if you have money less than $50,000, we always say this, it's probably best to make sure you leave that in a position where it has total access. And again, the only way you're going to know this if you're getting ready to buy a product is ask the advisor how much access you'll have. The key question number four is time frame. So what we mean by that, let's take an annuity. We do a lot of annuities, but the annuities we offer have different time frames. Some of them have three year, four year, five year, seven year, 10 year. Uh, there's even annuities out there with 15 and 16 year time frames. 
bonds. Some bonds don't have maturity rates until uh, maturity dates until 2044 or 2050. I mean, those are the time frames. So you have to understand the time frame because that goes back to access. Let's say you had a time frame of 10 years and you think you might need this money in three or four years. Well, that's going to be a problem because that's going to probably create some massive surrender charges to get out of something within a limited time frame. So be very careful on that. The next option is, are there any gotchas? So what do we mean by gotchas? Well, let's go over and take a look at the whiteboard. This is a good study I'm going to do. And we are going to pick on the 401k just a little bit, okay? So with the 401k plan, again, I have said this time and time again, is the 401k a terrible savings tool? I really don't think it is. I'm not sure if it's necessarily a hoax, although I love William Woolman's book, but I would say it is one of the worst retirement planning tools known to man. The money's locked up, it's hard to get out, there's taxes. So let's just kind of go through a scenario of somebody that's poured their life savings into a 401k and look at what really happens when they retire. So let's say, and there's a reason I'm doing this, they're age 60 and they've been able to grow that 401k plan to $400,000. Now, we're going to talk about those five steps a little bit and five questions asked, but the first thing to say is, okay, what are the fees if I were to roll it over, which a lot of people will roll that over. Well, with a typical money manager, the typical money manager to handle that account when you roll it over, the fees are going to be one and a half to 2%. Now this includes their fees and also what's called the expense ratios of their funds. Our fees at Tony Walker Financial to manage money are 0.8%. So we're trying to keep more money in your pocket by keeping these fees down. The second case is worst case scenario. Well, worst case, as we record this show in 2022, let's say you had 100% of your money in the stock market with this 401k. Let's say a year ago it was worth 400,000. Well, you're probably down to 300,000. And it could even continue to go down. Remember earlier in the show, we talked about 2000 and 2001 and 2002. Not to say that's gonna happen again, folks, but we had three straight years of losses. And again, if you're in your 40s or early 50s, maybe you can handle that. But if you're in your retirement years or nearing retirement, that's pretty scary stuff. The third thing is access. Well, you might say, well, Tony, I can get 100% of my money out of there at any time. I had somebody come in the other day, had about this amount of money. They just wanted to liquidate the whole thing. They were thinking about paying off a bunch of debt, all this stuff. And I said, that's fine. You could take the whole thing out. Let's say it's still worth $400,000. The problem is that's going to throw you federal and state in about a 30% tax bracket, which means immediately Uncle Sam is going to want $120,000 in taxes. And they're like, you've got to be kidding me. So we set up a strategy to do what this person's wanting to accomplish and show them how we're going to lower those taxes. What about the time frame? Boy, this is a biggie. I'm seeing a lot of people going out here and they're rushing out because the market is down. And I get it. I know you're nervous. I know you don't want to lose all that money on paper. But you're being tempted, again, I would say you're being duped into putting all of your life savings in these bonus annuities. Now, again, the problem with the bonus annuity, folks, is you are putting yourself in a long-term time frame. You're limiting the amount of access you can get to the money. And many of you are not looking at these as worst-case scenarios. In fact, a lot of these bonuses, if you get out of these annuities early, not only are they going to charge you a huge surrender penalty, they're going to take back the bonus. So be very, very careful with some of these products. And finally, number five, the gotchas. And I think the gotchas with the 401k, because you've looked at this as a savings tool, because you've been plowing money in all of your life, now maybe the market's down, now you've got taxes to worry about, the gotchas sometimes keep you from getting access to the money and using and enjoying this money now. Let's put this up full screen. The reason I created the three halves of life, folks, is to remind people that you're not going to live forever. I've had two folks in the office already, adult children, who are taking care of handling the estates of our clients, their parents who have passed away. And these parents are not that old, folks. So the thing is, a lot of people that I've seen over the years wait too long to spend their money. So the gotcha is you've been duped into thinking that you shouldn't spend the money, that you got to let, let it keep accumulating. you got all this inflation, all these worries, the fear of going into a nursing home. And in the meantime, everybody else is benefiting your, from your money except you. So here's what I would say to this. If you don't have somebody in your corner that is trying to help you do these things, to lower your fees, 
to always think of worst case scenario, to have access to your money, to work within limited time frames on some of your investments, and of course to remove a lot of these gotchas. My question is, why not? So here's all you got to do. Just go to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and what you're going to do is click on that Let's Get Started button. Now that information is sent confidentially to our offices and we're going to arrange what's called a free 10-minute fiduciary phone call with myself and I'm going to find out how we can be of help to you. Now if we can help you, we are going to meet with you in person. That's right, I'll be happy to meet with you in person at either our Bowling Green, Louisville or Lexington, Kentucky offices. So do it now. Log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on that Let's Get Started or if you'd like, just simply call the toll-free number on your screen. Well, our theme has been, there's a sucker born every minute. Did you realize the Bible says the same thing about our newfound freedom in Christ and the idea that we tend to gravitate back to our old ways? Good stuff coming your way. I'm Tony Walker. Let me get another cup of coffee. We'll be right back. Are you retired or retiring soon? Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all of our latest educational content and previous shows of the Word for Retirement. Just log on to youtube.com and search Tony Walker Financial. The theme of today's show has been a saying originally attributed to the late promoter P.T. Barnum, and now through careful and diligent research from our own Derek Hudson, instead attributed to the late great cigar manufacturer and creative giant curator George Hull. And it's this, there's a sucker born every minute. And while we can now agree that in the world of money and retirement, there's ways savers get suckered out of their money all the time, what might surprise you is that the Bible warns of the same thing when it comes to our faith. Check it out in Galatians 1.6, where this new breed of Christians following along with the freedoms of faith offered by this man, Jesus Christ, are now quickly getting suckered backed by religious men into thinking that there's something else they must do to maintain their faith. In Galatians 1.8, Paul is so alarmed as to why someone would run from this newfound freedom in Christ and back into the bondage of religion that he asserts that those persuading Christians to turn back to following the ways of man shall be accursed. This accusation coming from a man who just a few years prior to his conversion was a follower of the same bondage to the law that now these newfound Christians were so easily reverting back to. We see his frustration grow where in Galatians 3.1, he refers to these freedom-fleeing Christians as fools. Then in 5.1, Paul reminds us of this basic truth of maintaining our faith in Christ and why Christ came to earth in the first place, to set us free. Well, you say, Tony, free from what? Free from the bondage of trying to follow and keep laws and rules that in our own strength we cannot keep. So with such good news of freedom, why in the world would men and women be so easily persuaded to go back into bondage attempting to follow rules and laws and regulations governed by men? Well, possibly two reasons I can think of. Either one, they're one of those suckers born every minute that George Hull and P.T. Barnum were looking for, or maybe, just maybe, it's easier for us humans who are living under the responsibility of freedom to instead be easily convinced to fall back on religion. The late, great Eric Fromm wrote about this phenomenon of why people turn to man and, yes, possibly even religion, in his classic book, Escape from Freedom, where Fromm notes the following. He says, If humanity cannot live with the dangers and responsibilities inherent in freedom, it will probably turn to authoritarianism. I think, like Pop the Apostle Paul, Fromm might have been onto something here. You see, rather than taking responsibility of the wonderful freedom we have offered up by this man Christ, and all of the responsibilities that come with this newfound freedom to follow him, it may be easier to turn our freedoms back over to men and allow them to govern us instead. But Tony, how does this newfound freedom in Christ play out when it comes to my money? The amount I'm free to spend, free to give, and free to leave to my loved ones when I'm dead and gone. Well, friend, that's the best news of all, because as we see throughout Scripture, this freedom to those of us who place our faith and trust in Christ is not in a vacuum of works and us fumbling and bumbling around in our own strength, but rather now led and controlled by God's very own Spirit, a Spirit that promises to guide us, to teach us, and yes, to better help us discern what to do with this temporary gift of money 
during our brief stay here on earth. It's a freedom that provides less worry and more joy. And best of all, it's a freedom that will help us avoid being sucker into the guilt trip gospel of not being free to use and enjoy this money as God sees fit. And that, my friend, is some good news you can certainly take to the bank. Well, how about you? Would you like to be free from all the worry and stress that comes with trying to navigate a financial world that is seemingly getting more and more complicated to navigate? Would you like to have a plan, a written plan, that allows you to first see what it is you have and more importantly, how to freely use and enjoy this money you've worked so hard to save? Well, rather than getting suckered into something that puts your money in bondage, for heaven's sake, and at risk, why not turn over to the good news of speaking to me directly? That's right, Tony Walker, the owner of the company, someone with more than 38 years of financial experience, someone who has met with over 15,000 savers and continues to this day to meet with 20 to 30 people a week. And here's how easy it is to get started talking to me. It's called the free 10-minute fiduciary phone call. And here's how this works. You can either set up this phone call by first logging on to Tony Walker Financial com and just click on that let's get started or if going through the internet's not your thing it's real easy to do just call the toll-free number on your screen that's tonywalkerfinancial.com or give us a call 24 7 and we'll make that happen well we hope you've enjoyed today's program we have certainly enjoyed being with you but you remember between now and next week if all else fails you be worry free and now i gotta hand out some suckers Wait a minute, where's my sucker? Come on. <laughs>